hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm very excited about this week's video because we are going to make strawberry book sleeve i'm using 5 ply milk cotton yarn 3 millimeter hook scissors and also a stitch marker so we're just gonna start with a slip knot we're gonna wrap the yarns around the fingers when you flip it there will be two lines we're gonna hook under the first one and hook over into the second one let go of your left finger and just pull it on both sides next we're gonna make chains we're gonna make the chains based on the length of the book and it has to be a multiple of 4 so i have made 36 chains and it is actually 1 inch less than the length of the book because i want the book sleeve to fit the book perfectly and there will be a second row for the base so it will eventually become bigger later and the yarn that i'm using is actually a bit stretchy so that helps a little bit so if you are using a not too stretchy yarn or if you want to make a bigger book sleeve then you can just add more chains so we're gonna add one more chain and we're gonna skip the first chain and starting from the second chain we're gonna make a single crochet so we're gonna insert the hook into the chain yarn over and pull the yarn out yarn over again and pull through the loops there is a single crochet and we are gonna insert the stitch marker Basically, we're just gonna make single crochet for each chain, except for the last one. For the last chain, we're just gonna make 4 single crochet. When you're done, then we can just move to the other side of the chain and basically we're just going to make single crochet until there is one chain left. For the last chain, we're just gonna make 3 single crochet. And you're done with the first row. So moving on into the second row. We're gonna make single crochet based on the chain that we made in the beginning. So my beginning chain is 36 chains, so I'm gonna make 36 single crochet. Let's say if your beginning chain is 44 chains, then you have to make 44 single crochet. Then after that, we have to make increase for the next 2 stitches. So for increase, we have to make 2 single crochet in 1 stitch. So I just made my first single crochet, and on the same stitch, I'm gonna make the second. That's one increase. And we're gonna make another increase on the next stitch so we're just gonna repeat the pattern for the other half of the row so we're gonna make single crochet as many as the beginning chain and then followed by two increases so this is what the base is gonna look like and what i'd like to do is make sure that the post sleeve will actually fit the book before moving on into the next row Mine is actually the same size of the book, so it will fit the book perfectly. So moving on into the next row, in this row we're just gonna use the back loop only. So we're just gonna start with making a slip stitch on the back loop. Then we're gonna continue with two chains, and we're gonna count this as one double crochet. And you can mark the chain if you want. And we're gonna continue with double crochet on the back loop so wrap the yarn around the hook insert it into the chain yarn over and pull out the yarn there will be three loops on your hook yarn over and pull it out from the first and the second loop yarn over again and pull it out from the rest of the loops that's a double crochet and we're just gonna continue making double crochet on the back loop until the end of the row when you're done, then you can just make a slip stitch on the second chain. That completes the row, and we're just gonna moving on into the next row. We're gonna start with two chains, and just like the row before, we're gonna count this as one double crochet. We're gonna continue with double crochet on the next stitch. And before finishing the stitch, we're gonna grab the red yarn for the strawberry and we're gonna insert it into the loops. So now we are using the red yarn instead of the white one. And to make the strawberry, we're gonna make 5 double crochet on the next stitch. So 
So that's 5 double crochet. Before moving on, I'm just gonna tie the red yarn with the white yarn together just to make sure that the red yarn is secure. So we're gonna insert the hook into the first double crochet and we're gonna grab the yarn from the last double crochet and we're gonna insert the hook into the hole pull the yarn and it's gonna look like this we're gonna grab a green yarn and insert it into the loops and we are going to make the leaf next so instead of using the usual stitch we're just gonna go below the stitch and we're gonna work between the bars since we made 5 double crochet, we have 5 bars and we're gonna use the space between the bars. So we're gonna insert the hook between the first and the second bar. We're gonna yarn over and pull the yarn out. So that's one leaf and we're gonna go between the second and the third bar. We're gonna yarn over and pull the yarn out. And we're gonna go between the third and the fourth bar and we're gonna do the same. There should be 4 loops on your hook And then we're just gonna insert back our white yarn Yarn over and pull it through all of the loops So that's one strawberry done And we're just gonna continue with a chain And before moving on into the next part I'm just gonna tie the green yarn Just to make sure that it is secure Then we're just gonna continue with double crochet for the next 3 stitches Before finishing the 3rd double crochet, we're gonna insert back our red yarn So we're gonna make another strawberry And we're gonna make 5 double crochet on the next stitch And we're just gonna insert the hook on the first double crochet and on the yarn from the last double crochet We're gonna pull the red yarn And we're gonna insert the green yarn Then we're going to make the leaf by pulling the yarn between the bars We're gonna pull the yarn between the first and the second bar then we're gonna go between the second and the third and then on the next one we're gonna go between the third and the fourth bar there will be four loops in your hook and we're gonna grab a white yarn and we're gonna pull through all the loops and then we're just gonna finish it with a chain so that is the pattern three double crochet and a strawberry we're just gonna repeat the pattern until the end of this row Also, I have a little bit of tips for you because when I was making this, my yarn tends to get tangled up a lot So if you are experiencing the same thing, I hope this one can help So what I do, I put the yarn in 3 different places As you can see, I put the white one on the left, the green one in the middle, and the red one on the right side So when you're done using that particular yarn, you can place it back on the place so for example, you're done using the red yarn, then you can just put it back into the right side And when you're done using the green yarn, then you can just put it in the middle It definitely helps me out, so I hope it can help you too When you reach the end of the row, it should be ended with one double crochet And then you can just do a slip stitch on the second chain That completes the row And for the next row, we're just gonna start with two chains and we're gonna make a double crochet on the next stitch We're gonna skip the green stitch and we're gonna go make double crochet on the stitch next to it, the white one Then we're just gonna continue with double crochet for the next 3 stitches We're gonna skip the green stitch and we're gonna make double crochet on the stitch next to it 
and we're just gonna continue making double crochet on each stitch except for the green one so we're only gonna make double crochet on the white stitches when you're done you can make a slip stitch on the second chain now we're just gonna repeat row 3, row 4, and row 5 for row 6 we're gonna make double crochet on both loops row 7 we're gonna make the strawberries and row 8 we're gonna make another double crochet and we're just gonna continue repeat the pattern until you reach the height of the book it took me 17 rows to reach the height of the book and this is what it's gonna look like it fits the book perfectly and it is not too loose and since we no longer need the red and the green yarn we're just gonna cut them off and I'm just gonna go ahead and tie the yarn together so they are not loose so for the lining we're just gonna start with a chain then I'm gonna put a stitch marker so that I know where the beginning is and basically we're just gonna make single crochet on the back loop until the end of this row when you're done you can just cut the yarn and we're gonna make an invisible finish so we're gonna insert the hook on the second stitch from the last stitch we're gonna pull the yarn out and we're gonna go back into the last stitch and we're gonna insert the hook on the back loop of the last stitch then pull the yarn out it's gonna create an illusion of a stitch and for finishing you can just weave in all the ends and that's it guys let me know what you think about this video if you have any question, you can always ask me in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!